Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for waiting patiently for this presentation for what has been an outstanding game of cricket. I'm joined up here by the presentation party, which includes Mr. Rex Bodie, the chairman of Gloucestershire County Cricket Club, and Mr. Stuart Butlin, who is a NatWest customer. If I could first ask the uh, losing captain, the England captain, to come up, Andrew Strauss, please. <laughs> Andrew, a great game of cricket, but where did you lose that game? Well, look, we didn't get a lot of things right today, to be honest with you. Our fielding was uh, substandard. Uh, losing four wickets over the bat was was criminal, really. Um, but I think for us to moan too much about our inadequacies would take a lot away from Bangladesh, and I don't think we should do that. I think they defended that score exceptionally well. They were obviously very hungry to win the game, and they thoroughly deserved their victory. Did you think 236 was enough? Look, we thought we could chase those down, no doubt about it, um, but we put ourselves under pressure and, and the Bangladeshi spinners did a very good job. We kept, kept losing wickets the whole way through, um, you know, and you don't want to have a situation with a, a guy with a broken foot walking out to bat in the last over. So, look, we've only got ourselves to blame, but um, Bangladesh you know, thoroughly deserved that victory and um, you know, we, we obviously need to make amends for it in Birmingham on Monday. How much did it affect you not having Ian Bell coming out at number three? He was the form player in the last game. Yeah, well, look, I mean, obviously we were one of our major major batsmen down there, but these things happen in a cricket game. Um, we should have had enough batting and nails to get over the line. We weren't able to do it. We've got to kind of look at ourselves hard and say, well, why didn't we do that? Um, but, you know, that, that's, that'll take place tomorrow, and we'll, we'll come back strong on, strong on Monday. How do you feel Craig Kiesbert is going at the top of the order? He's getting some starts, but no big score. Yeah, you know, I think he's, he's playing nice and positively. Um, you know, that role sometimes uh, you don't always come off. But uh, we're very happy with what he's doing. Uh, we've got every confidence he can do going forward. And Ian Bell, what were your thoughts up there with Ian Bell? Was he always going to bat or were there time cut off and run cut off points? Yeah, I think we, you know, we needed to get down to 10 or 15 to win before we even considered it. Um, and then at the back end there, you know, Trotty was on strike, so it was unlikely that he would have to take much strike. Um, so he hobbled out. Um, you know, it was a good effort, uh, but unfortunately we, we left uh, Trotty with too much to do. On a positive note, the guys that have come in, Ian Bell in the last game and now Jonathan Trot, have come in and done well. That's a good sign. Yeah, well, they're hungry. Uh, I think they're very hungry to prove that they uh, merit a place in this one-day setup. Um, and there's good competition for places now, and I think that's encouraging. It's, it's clearly very important in, in all games of one-day cricket that one or two batsmen go on and get a big score. Those two have done that. Uh, the rest of our, our batting line have to do more than they have done so far. How do you think the balance of the side was? You said at the toss this morning you want to look at a different balance of the side. How do you think that went today? Um, well, we didn't get the balance because we missed out on the extra batsmen, but um, yeah, there's definitely a case for it. I thought we had enough bowling. Um, we just, uh, yeah, we, we, we just weren't good enough. It's as simple as that. Good luck in each batsman and must win game. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Andrew England captain Andrew Strauss. I can now have a word with the Bangladesh captain. I'm sure there'll be a big cheer goes up. Mushrafi Mortaza. Mushrafi, well played. 247 days you've not won an international game. You must feel a happy man tonight. Definitely, after 25 uh, good four matches, uh, losing in a row uh, in this dressing room, not really, not really been happy. So after this win, all, all the dressing room are uh, uh, very happy now. So yeah, definitely very happy now. Have you lost belief in that time at all that you could win a game? Have heads dropped? Not really. We have been working hard in the next uh, day and day out, so uh, uh, we just hope that it will come. And uh, today is the day uh, we work hard in the uh, in the tough period, and when it will come. And it was a real team performance as well. Lots of runs from various players, lots of wickets from various players. Definitely, uh, uh, I like to say that in the middle part of our batting innings, we lost uh, three, four wickets, and then uh, apart from that, we played very well. Did you uh, get a little bit nervous and a little bit worried when England was six down, seven down, and they kept getting runs? There were a few fumbles in the outfield. How did you keep the boys calm? Definitely, it will come. It is, uh, it is all about the cricket. It will come, but I uh, tell the boys that just stay, uh, stay uh, positive. Whatever it will happen, happen. And when you got nine wickets, you thought that was all over until Ian Bell strolled out. Yeah, <laughs> you thought Bell is not coming back. Finally, Bell is coming. But uh, um, fantastic from Bell. It's so it's beautiful. It's played uh, first, uh, first uh, ODI beautifully and congratulations to him again. He come back to the side uh, for him and uh, for the side and the tunnel.
Well, well done. You're going to stay up here because I want you to collect the Man of the Match award as well. Because not only for his 20 runs and his two wickets, but for his captaincy under pressure, the Nat West Man of the Match, Mushrafi Mortaza. Well, that section of power, especially, would be very, very happy um, at the end of this afternoon, and I'm sure for quite some time to come here. Yes, we are going to be yet another victory at Edgbaston on Monday if they can call themselves up again to do that. That would be a real turn up for the books. So Mike and Nick alongside here at the moment. Um, good game, really good game in the end because you know, that tension builds and builds and builds, and there's some good performances on both sides. Yes, at the halfway line, I don't think anybody gave much of a chance for the game with that game because two things which really we really thought was enough on a good pitch and we were small out of it. Uh, but Bangladesh won very well in them. We were very poor and Bangladesh very good and, and uh, when you have the result that you have. And thrill for Bangladesh really because when you think what they've gone through both the year in which they've not won any cricket, they got two bad injuries in the last game, the wicket keeper and then the broken foot to Rocky Bull. Uh, so they've gone through a lot. The spirit can't have been great in the first room. Confidence can't have been high. But the way they bowled and fielded, they bowled and fielded with a hell of a lot of spirit. Putting them under pressure with a combination of that pressure and some poor batting. I mean, even down, to, even down the last couple of overs, that a penultimate over from Matazu, the captain, which started with that inside edge drop down to long leg, goes for four, then another great shot for four as well. He's suddenly starting to think maybe England have just got enough here to pull this out of the fire. That's what we were saying on commentary so many times. As Stooge is up here saying, do they believe? Do they really believe they can get over the line? And it was that moment you refer to there. Oh, not again. Surely not again. He's bowled the perfect Yorker has been squeezed out. And I think at that point, something like 12 runs to win. I, I felt on commentary, someone needs to go up to him. I don't know if they did, and said, well, bold skip. Well, bold. don't try anything different because we're doing okay here. Hang, it, hang on in. And they did. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> well, we can get some more reaction from the, the Bangladesh camp now. One man, or yet another man, who will be absolutely delighted with this win today is their coach, Jamie Siddons, and he's with NASA. Jamie, thanks for joining us. It's relatively easy out there in the middle. How nervous is it for a coach on the edge? Yeah, look, I've seen myself on TV over the last few days, and I've tried to be more calm today, and... Um, just trust what the boys were doing out there, and, and they, they they did the job. They played beautifully. Um, towards the end, very nervous, very stressed, but um, really happy at the moment. Said upstairs in commentary on a couple of occasions, will Bangladesh still know how to win? It's been such a long time. Did you feel that the side had forgotten how to win or lost the ability to win? I think I've said it to you before. We try and just get better all the time and, and trust our own individual performances, and not necessarily win loss. But um. It's hard when you keep getting beaten, it's hard to keep getting them up and telling them that they are getting better. To get over the line like that today, um, just we'll give them proof, I think, now that they can beat good sides. They put even 230, 240 on the board sometimes is enough, and that's what we haven't done often enough over the years, I think. Now we're doing it. And you did it without Tamim. It was a real team performance. You know, in the test matches, it was sometimes a one-man show, but it was a team performance today. Yeah, I think to get 280, we need some units to keep to go off at 290, 300. But um, 240, 250s with the rest of the boys is, is really possible. The top three are going, going beautifully, the opening batter, um, Imral and, and Imros are going beautifully, giving the stars. Middle order come good, we'll be, we'll be a very good batting side. It makes big news when Bangladesh win, they beat Bang uh, Pakistan, they beat Australia. Is it still a big deal for you to beat England? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I think England, I would have thought they were on top of the world at the moment, um, and, and willing, and oh, not willing, but um, capable of beating anyone. Probably the best team in the world, confidence-wise, and playing good cricket. So to beat them at home at this time of their preparation for the Ashes and everything else going, um, a brilliant win. We've seen the passion from the players. We've seen the passion from the spectators. Does that make your job harder because you know how much millions of people want this set of 11 players to win? Yeah, it, it makes it hard, but um, you know, I focus on the boys, I focus on the players and trying to get them to improve their cricket and understand what mistakes they've been making and what the good teams do. Uh, hopefully they'll see now what, what England have been doing and what they've done today and, and keep repeating it. What have you done differently today that you haven't done in the last 20 odd games? I think, I think the fast balls bowled much better or they got some luck going their way. We've got a couple of nicks where normally those big cut shots go for four, you know, short wide balls go for four. And they got nicks early on and Away we went. We, we put the screws on and kept getting wickets. That was the secret. Sure, you'd prefer it this way around, but your job now probably is to calm the guys down. There's a must-win game coming up Monday, Edgebaston. Yeah, I think 
definitely keep doing the right things, doing the things that we do, did well today and keep doing them well. Um, put 240, 250 on the board. Anything bigger than that is a good score and we can, we can compete and give them a chance. I saw you sprinting out there at the end, and a minute ago I saw you doing some stretches. Have you pulled something? <laughs> no, no, no. Just got to keep the old body moving, mate. Warm-ups tomorrow. I'll move the old body up that dresser and say well done to the boy. Sing a song, it'll be great, mate. Thank you. <laughs> you are watching.